Okay, so this question says that the range of the function y equals negative 5 sine of 2x minus 3 is. So which one of these is the, the range here? Now, remember the d value tells us the middle of the graph. So this is d, and d equals negative 3. And then the graph fluctuates above and below that. Okay. Now, and it's going to go up by the amplitude and down by the amplitude. Now, in this case, notice that what the amplitude is. I can read this off the graph here. The amplitude is 5 not negative 5. The negative in front tells me that a reflection has occurred. Okay, But the negative and the 5 okay, are actually doing two separate things. There's two different transformations going on here. There's the reflection and then the stretch. And it's the stretch that's going to impact the range, in this case, not the reflection. Now, that's because of the nature of, of a sinusoidal graph. Okay, if you took this and just flipped it over the x-axis, that reflection is going to do nothing. Okay, because there's symmetry here. Sometimes that reflection does have an impact on the range. Okay, As, like the quadratic functions that you would have looked at in a previous course. But here it doesn't. All I'm interested in is that value. So starting at negative 3, I'm going to go down 5. Well, 5 down from negative 3 is going to be negative 8. And then I'll go up 5. So negative 3 plus 5 is going to put me at 2. So I'm looking at a range here that goes from negative 5 to positive 2. Sorry, negative 5. Negative 8, my mistake. Negative 8 to positive 2. And right there, there's my first option, negative 8 out to positive 2. So the answer is A.